Good evening, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar. Um, I'm very glad to have to host today's joint webinar of DAD Information Center Taipei and Northern Institute of Technolo Technology. Um, today, the main report about Northern Institute of Technology will be done by Mr. Florian Helwig, uh, who is student uh, responsible for student recruitment and marketing coordinator at Northern Institute of Technology in Hamburg. Thanks so much, Josef Goldberger, and thanks a lot to all of you joining us here today to this great uh, web webinar about the NIT, the Northern Institute of Technology Management. And yeah, thanks to the great introduction already given now, you have a little overview of how is the studying life and how is the studying landscape and university landscape in Germany. And to narrow that down a bit for you, I want to present uh, today one specific aspect of that, meaning one great study institute in Hamburg. Hamburg is in the north of Germany, and that's where our great institute, the NIT, is based. So um, get ready for this. I'm going to give you a short introduction on what we are, how we are, what kind of persons are behind the NIT, and of course, what you are able to study there at this institute, and what kind of skills and what kind of attitude are you getting there and um, what kind of job experiences can you do with this. So to start, our name, as I already said, is the Northern Institute of Technology Management and we offer a specific type of subject. So as already taught in the introduction, there are many universities and many schools who are different kinds of subjects but we concentrate on one subject only and this is called technology management like in our name the northern institute of technology management and we offer a master's program so for everybody of you who already studied and received a bachelor's degree somewhere and i get to this later and what kind of bachelor degree you already have to have to achieve but in general for everybody who has a bachelor you can get further education and get um, more professional education in our institute, meaning we offer a specific and unique, only one time in Germany, available master in technology management. And what is this master? What is the NIT? I'll show you in the next slides. So just to give you a little pre-introduction to me, this is me, Florian Helwig. It's a bit complicated to pronounce, so just call me Ryan. Maybe this is easier for you. I'm responsible for student recruiting, so getting more students um, to a broader uh, public, broader audience, um, make advertising for a great institute. This is my job, and I'm also responsible for marketing. So I'm producing videos, and I'm responsible for the website of the NIT. So everything related is my job as well. Okay, but now enough of me, let's go to the university. And this is the person which is mainly responsible for all of your further application processes. So when you decide to study at the NIT and you have any questions regarding like what do I have to do to apply, what are my chances, how can I get a scholarship, any regarding questions regarding other application process, this is your guy. It's called, he's called Wolfgang Höll. So don't switch them up. This is me. This is him. But don't worry, at the end of the presentation, I show you his face again so that you don't get confused. Okay. So just to start, what is technology management? Well, you can glean it a bit from the context because it's obviously have something to do with technology and obviously something to do with management, but how does it work all together? So here are just a few bullets to give you a little overview of what this is about. So in general, you could say we want to make students who already have a great experience in natural science, for example, in mathematics, in biochemical engineering, in mechanics, in whatever kind of natural sciences, you don't have to have a specific type. We want to bring that pupils together, that students together, and that gathered experience together and combine it 
with the management aspect. So the NIT is not only like a business school, we don't want you to make just profit, go in the world and earn money. Of course, we want to do that as well. But most important is we want to give you responsibility and we want to give you the skills you need to survive in the world outside, which is equally important natural sciences on the one hand, but business and management aspects on the other hand. And we wanted you to combine these two components to be able to sustain and to tackle the challenges of the future which you're facing in the world. So we try to cope you with the future challenges, as I already said, and very important for the NIT is to give you an entrepreneurial mindset, meaning the skills you already learned in your previous studies, we want to give you this and make something entrepreneurial with this so that you only, not only you can go to a um, company or somewhere else and use your skills, but to develop your own thinking and your own mindset and to create something new and unique with this. So hence, our study program is very practical orientated. So as uh, Josef Goldberger in the introduction said, there are many kinds of teaching in Germany and ours is very, very practical orientated. So of course you get plenty of theory, but this is only one side because we are very aware that you need to have to have practical skills and we have a huge um, focus on practical development. So don't worry, you never get bored with our studies. Okay. As I said, we offer one specific subject, it's called technology management, but you have the choice to study it in two different ways. The one is you can study it in a double degree. What does that mean, double degree? It means you study at the NIT, technology management, and you combine this subject with another subject at the TUHH. The TUHH stands for Technology of University Hamburg. So there's a huge te technology university in Hamburg, which is based in the south of Hamburg. And this is where the NIT is. So the NIT is placed, I'll show you later, on the campus of the Technical University in Hamburg. And you are able, if you're willing to study two subjects parallel, but it's for sure possible, you can study the technology management master in a double program. Meaning on weekends, you study technology management at the NIT. And during the week, meaning from Monday to Friday, you study another subject at the Technical University of Hamburg. For example, as written here, information and communication systems, microelectronics and microsystems, mechatronics and so on. Or if you don't want to study two subjects, you can also combine your technology manager master with, for example, work, meaning if you have a regular job already, it's no problem. Since we offer our studies only during the weekends, it's perfectly to combine this with your regular job somewhere. So if you decide to study in Hamburg and you have a job somewhere around Hamburg, it's no problem. It's easy to combine. So you combine this either with a job or as written here with a PhD. So if you decide to make a doctor in Germany, it's no problem either because we are able to combine our subject technology management with your work or your PhD as well. Or if you have any other obligations during the week, no problem whatsoever, you can do this as well. Meaning, in short terms, either you can study a double degree master or you can only study technology management and combine this with another obligation which you are already pursuing in Germany. So, as already said, we, the NIT, are on the campus of the Hamburg University of Technology, TUHH. -H. Um, if you're wondering why is there HH, -H, and I said only Hamburg, it's called because the district in Hamburg, where the university is placed, it's called Harburg. And Harburg starts with an H as well. So technically it's Technical University Hamburg, Harburg, but it's too long. So we only say TUHH. The TUHH 
has approximately 8,000 students and 95 professors and a huge academic staff of nearly 700 people. And it consists of 80 different faculties, so it's a lot, a lot. The TUHH was founded already in the 1980s, so it's about 50 years old already. And here are some impressions that you see, like how the campus life looks like and what is this about, the TUHH. So when you're studying at the NIT, as already said, it's placed on the campus of the Technical University of Hamburg. So when you're here with us, you are here at the campus as well. And here's some impressions of our great campus life. Each year we have many, many parties like the barbecue or the summer fest, we call it, or a summer party where we offer many games and foods. And for our students from all over the world offer several dishes and foods which they prepare themselves just to share their culture and to share their food and to just to get to know each other. It's a really great cultural experience every year. Here you see some of our projects, which our students already did in collaboration with the corporations, which we work with. And as I already said, our university, meaning our institute, the NIT, is placed in Hamburg. And if you haven't already looked it up, Hamburg is in the north of Germany. It's the second biggest city in Germany. As you may already know, Berlin is the biggest since it's our capital with 4 million inhabitants. But Hamburg is really huge and it's the second biggest city in Germany and it's right up in the north at the sea. So there you can see our great harbor and here you have some impressions of the beautiful, beautiful city of Hamburg. Maybe you already noticed in the lower left picture, there you can see the Ebb Philharmonie. It's like Philharmonic Orchestra, which is really, really famous since a couple of years. It was built and there are every year plenty of, plenty of great concerts. It's right here. Okay. Here we have some other impressions of Hamburg. As you may already know, when you have an um, engineering or mechanical background maybe already. Hamburg has a huge harbor and has one of the biggest harbors in the world. And here you have some impressions of a great harbor and sea life. All right, just a little, little facts about the NIT, about our institute. It was founded in 1998, so we are about 20 years old, a bit more than 20 years old. And we are a small and non-profit institute. So we don't, make, we don't want to make any money. We just want to give you the best education which we can possibly offer to you. And we have a great, great alumni network. So we have in this 20 years, of course, obviously, many, many classes already which are graduated and have great successful jobs. And we still keep in contact with all of our students. So we have a very close, contact to all of our students and a really, really great NIT community. To give you some of the facts about our study program, technology management, as Mr. Goldberger in the introduction already said, um, you don't need to learn German. Well, you can learn German because it's a great language, but you don't have to because all of our courses are taught in English. Everything, everything. So you don't need to worry about not being able to understand because German, of course, is difficult to learn. Not so difficult as Chinese, but still very difficult. So don't worry, English is way more easy to learn, obviously. And so everything you need to know, all texts, all lectures, whatever, it's taught in English all the time. And the great thing is we have students from all over the world. Currently, we have students from 23 different countries. So we are a very, very international community. We, all, we don't have only English or German students, no, no. We, Love to mix them up, and we have a very, very colorful background of all different people from all over the world speaking English and hence are able to connect to one another. And the great thing about the NIT as well is that we have very small classes. It depends from year to year, but we kind of have like 30 students every year. Sometimes it's 29, sometimes it's 32, but since the small size of the classes, it's really, really fortunate for the students because 
they can process the knowledge and work with the experience they gathered there way better comparison to bigger classes. Imagine you have classes with 100, 200, or even 300 pupils students. It's nice to have so many people together, but of course you can't deliver the knowledge properly. So we decided to keep it cool, keep it small, and to deliver the knowledge one-to-one, -one, which makes it way more profitable for everybody, for the teachers, for the professors as well, and of course for the students. And since I already said, we are very practical orientated and we have a project-based learning, which I tell you now all about. So, so you have here some impressions of our students. So as already said, we have a, a plenty students from all over the world. Mainly it's three different parts, which we have the most students of. One obviously is Germany, as you can see, it's like one form. Then we have many, many students from Latin America, Brazil, Peru, Chile, Argentina, of course. And we have a huge, this is the third part, a huge population of um, Asian countries, mainly from China, but not only from China. And we'd love to get students from Taiwan as well, because we're very, very interested interested in you, your experience, and what you can bring to the table to us. So, as you can see, we choose students not only from one part, but from all parts. We try to get the best of the best for the NIT. These are some impressions of our on-campus living. So, since you decide to apply at the NIT, when you get accepted at the NIT, of course, you can be and live at the NIT. We guarantee to each of our students a really great and huge student apartment, which has its, of course, its own bathroom, its own kitchen. So you have an apartment just for your own, where you can live and where you can study, where you can do whatever you want, and it's directly on campus. So there is no huge gap between where you live and where you study, but it's in one place. Okay. As um, we're an international based program. We don't only have students from all over the world, but we have teachers and professors from all over the world as well. And here you can see some of the universities where our great, great professors are teaching as well. For example, Portland State University in Oregon, the Korean School in England, of course, Harriet Watt, Queensland University in Australia. So we search for the great professors we can find from all over the world and bring them together here at the Anarchy to teach our courses and to teach our students. And of course, not only we gather different professors, but we also have great connections to different companies here around Hamburg and in all over the world which we have uh, connections to. For example, Draga, maybe you heard of Draga. It's one of the world's even, and of for sure Germany, biggest company in medicine and security, which is really, really uh, great and the market leader here. And maybe you, you heard of it. A couple of years ago, we had some two NIT students who developed a machine to sense uh, gas in the air, which makes, which can cause cancer to people. And they developed a machine which can sense it within a couple of seconds and to detect some sorts of harmful gas, which can affect the lungs, for example. And this startup, this idea was so successful that they uh, sell it to Draeger and now it's a 100% Draeger product and Draeger sells it uh, on their market, on their own website. So this is one, just one little example um, where you can see how good our connection and how good our relations with the companies are and how profitable it is for students to study here and to work later with big and great companies here. So to give you an overview of what you have to study, this is our curriculum, as you can see. It consists of four different parts. We make it colors so that you can easily separate and see what's what. 
The biggest part, the first part, as you can see, is called my project. And the whole curriculum basically circles around this one part, my project. Hence, we are very, uh, since we are very practical oriented university and technology management is very practical oriented, we focus on the project. And these can mean two things. One, you can develop your own business idea. And as told in the example before, you can make your own startup and develop, for example, a new technology like the machine sensing air, or you can develop something else. But the thing is, we want you to be innovative and to put your own idea into a startup. So option one is in the module, my project, you can start your own business idea, you can start your own startup. Or option two, you can work with one of our companies which we work together and bring your ideas into a specific project in these institutions. So if you say, mm, I'm not sure if I wanna make a startup, no problem. You can put your creative mind and your innovative ideas into working with another company. But one way or the other, we want you to make your own creative innovative decisions. And this is based in the first module, my project. And as I said, we're management and business orientated as well. We wanna teach you here in the second strain, general management, the basics of economics and law, so that you mean what are the laws here in Germany and how does the uh, economic work, the economy works, because for sure, every law and every economy is different. For sure, there are some ground rules, but each country and each continent is different. So we want to make sure that you know 100% what you're doing here and what you're able to achieve. And then we teach you, of course, financial performance and control that you know how to handle your business because money isn't everything, but everything is nothing without money. And, and the third module in the strain general management is strategy management game that you have a game plan, that you know where to start with your business idea and where to end. In the third strain, skills and attitude, we give you some kind of soft skills which you need to survive in the business world, meaning leadership skills, meaning if you have a startup, for example, and have many employees, you have to have knowledge on how to lead them, how to communicate with them, and all of these kind of things. And we teach you as well as, for example, we have one module is called Shaping the Digital World, meaning how to sustain a more and more digitalized world. What are the laws? What are the obstacles which you have to apply, uh, which you have to overcome? So all of that, how to survive and how to sustain in a more and more digitalized world, you learn in this third strain. And as you can see, the fourth strain is a bit more right. It's called complementary studies, meaning you don't have to take these modules, but you can if you like, it's optional. And the complementary studies, you can add more knowledge depending on what kind of fields are you interested in. For example, you can learn how to think in design, meaning when you create a new product, it's not only important what the product is able to do, but as well on how the product looks like, how the product interacts with a human being. So this is called design thinking. And you can learn about, for example, coding as well. If you love programming and you've always been a nerd and you're really into these kind of IT things, we offer special courses for people who love to get more information and more experience in this uh, kind of field coding. So, and hence the complementary studies are optional. And as you can see here down below, you have two choices. Either you can choose the smaller option and then you get 90 ECTS, which is like the official credit point system, as you already know, the currency. Or when you choose to add five of these six complementary modules here, as you can see, then you study with 120 CTS. So you decide if you want to make a smaller master degree or a bigger master degree. But don't worry, both options are a regular master degree here. As you can see here, my project is in the center of all of that. And all the other modules, which you saw in the slide before, are kind of circling around that. But 
it starts and it ends, if you may well, with your own project at Jira. So, as already said, you can, you have two different um, degrees in the end, depending on what you did before. If you have a bachelor's degree and already worked for two years after making your bachelor's degree, you're getting an MBA, meaning a Master of Business Administration, because you have already experience in the job field and in the business field. Hence, then you make a business master. Or if you just had a bachelor, just had a bachelor degree before and didn't have two years of experience, no problem, then you do a regular Master's of Technology Master and you finish with the Master of Arts. So, but this is just a technicality, don't worry. It's at the end of the day, you get the same master. This is one testimonial. Since I'm a bit over time, I just skipped this slide. Don't worry. If you wanna have a look at the slide at the presentation afterwards, you can download it, no problem. So just to sum it up one more time, as said at the curriculum slide already, you have the option uh, of studying it with 90 credit points. This is the smaller one or study it with 120 credit points, which is the larger one. Here you can see a five additional modules. But apart from that, it's the same study program. And if you're already thinking about, hmm, is it possible to get a scholarship maybe? Because studying here, of course, costs money, not a lot, but still a bit. Yes, it's possible to get a scholarship, not for everybody, but for some people who uh, really show us the motivation and the will to study here for them. It's possible to collaborate with one of our business partners. And here, for example, you see some of our partners like Procter & Gamble, maybe you heard of it. It's a huge American brand, which produces many, many, uh, most of all drugstore articles like Always or Gillette or Charmin and Annex Pay of course, IBM, Lufthansa, the great airplane company here based in Hamburg, Germany. So we have many companies which we are working with who offer full or at least part-time scholarships. These are some of our alumni just to give you a look like our students are looking like. All right, to sum it up, if you got a bit interested in studying at the NIT, which we really appreciate, we have um, a few recommendations that you have to consider when you want to apply here, because as already said at the beginning, we are interested in the best of the best meaning we want to get to know you and we want to know what you're capable of. So, for sure, like many other universities as well, we are interested in your study certificates, like your diplomas and your transcripts of records. Then, of course, we're interested in how, what are you, where are coming from, what's your name, where you studied before, what are your other skills, so you need to send in a CV. And since our program is taught in English entirely, we need a proof of English so that you are able to speak English and understand English. There are many tests and ways which you can do this, as you may already know, but we need a certificate that we can see that you are able to follow our courses. And then we need a statement of purpose. The NIT calls it statement of purpose. Other universities call it motivation letter or letter of motivation. It's kind of the same. We want to know why you want to go here. What are you able to, to bring to the table? What are your motivations? And what kind of character you are already? So present us yourself and show us your motivation why you want to study at the NIT. And this is one of our many questions I get after web webinars and presentations. If you want to apply for a scholarship, please write it in the statement of purpose. So don't be um, 
Don't write the companies which you already saw in the slides before yourself or somebody else, but write it in the statement of purpose that you are interested in your scholarship. Um, we do the further steps with you together. And as well, we want to hand in you uh, two letters of recommendation, meaning two different letters from two different professors that show and that explain us why are you able to study abroad and why you are able to study at the NIT and why we should take you. Okay, once again, this is Wolfgang Höll. He is your guy regarding any questions to the admission process. Um, just write at admissions. I just left the slide here for a couple of seconds that you can maybe write the address down. Admissions at nithh.de. Okay, that's so far for me. My name was Florian Hellig. Thanks so much for listening. And if you have any questions regarding our NIT, the study program, or this presentation, don't hesitate and just um, write me and I do everything to answer your questions. Thank you. Mr. Helwig, thank you very much for introducing NIT, Northern Institute of Technology Management, to us and to the students here in Taiwan. Um, now the students, now the attendants of the webinar have the opportunity to ask their questions and Mr. Helwig is going to reply them. Uh, but first, I would like to ask a question myself. You mentioned that you are very, very a highly international program. You have many students from all over the world and about one third of your students come from Asia. Of course, the largest part will be Chinese students. Uh, my question is, is there already some students from Taiwan studying at your institution? Or is this a kind of new? Web? Right now, sure, sure. It's a, it's a very good question. It depends. Right now, no. But the last years, we had many people from Taiwan as well. Mm -hmm. So we always see that we mix our students as well as possible because, as you already know, the more people from different parts come together, um, and Asia is huge and has so much to offer, and each country and each culture is so different from another. Mm -hmm. It's not only Asia or not only Europe, you know that. We see that we mix the students up so um, as good as we can. And right now, for the next year, we would be delighted if we have, again, some Taiwanese students or students from Taipei, for example. Uh, okay, I see there's one question asking a question. He's asking about application. Uh, and how to apply for your program. Do you have to apply to TUHH or directly apply with NIT? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a very good question. And this can be a bit confusing. You're totally right because there are two universities and two subjects. So where do you apply where? It's perfectly, uh, perfectly normal, this question. I was confused in the beginning myself, but luckily we produced for that great application tutorials on our website that explain everything. But to make it short now, you apply first at the TUHH. So the Technical University of Hamburg has a website where you can go and where you can just hit apply. It's right on the first page of the website where you apply for the subject at the TUHH and you click the option, I want to study a second subject at the NIT. So when you did that, you send your, you click send and you tell the um, technical university that practically that you want to study a double degree and everything else we handle that from that on. But to make it, uh, to say one more time, at, the, at our website, nithh.de, you have many, many great tutorials where we explain where do you have to apply, what happens after the application, how does our curriculum look like. It's taught in English and in German as well. So just go on the website and um, watch the videos. It's very, very easy explained that you have um, later all the our information you need to mm -hmm. apply. Okay, then I see another student is asking about when ideally to apply. You obviously are already opened your application process. Is there any advantage in applying earlier on or you just have to apply within the deadline? 
How does it work? Well, the great thing is you can basically apply all the time. Our next deadline is in the middle of July. So from now on, now it's April, you have three month time to apply. So it's still time, but not so much. So just if you're interested at the NIT, just go to our website or write admissions at nithh.te and get all the information you need. Until the middle of July, you have time to apply. And I'm sorry, I see there was a follow-up question from the first question, which meant are the courses mainly taught on weekends? Yes, they are. So all of our courses, just to make it uh, make a little follow-up answer, are taught on weekends. So if you have any obligations during the week, don't worry, you don't miss anything. So everything we do is on Saturdays or Sundays. Sometimes, sometimes at at the afternoon on Fridays, but in general, no, you only attend on weekends. Okay. Another student would like to know, he's uh, already uh, studying in an English taught program, obviously. And if that is the case, mm -hmm. is it still necessary to provide uh, certificates on uh, English language skills? Or is would it be proof enough to already having a degree in an English taught program at a, at a foreign university? This is a specific question, which I recommend you to write to admissions at nithh.de. But I'm very certain that if you're already studying in an English program and you're obviously qualified to speak English, that there is some way to manage that and you don't need to worry to make a big, huge new test or pay some amount of money just to prove that you're able to speak English meaning we are always looking for easy ways and for practical ways to get in contact with you and to make things done. So you want to make it easy and not complicated. Um, maybe I have another question just to clear out uh, the, the relationship between TUHH and NIT. Um, if one takes your program, um, will you finally get an NIT diploma or will it be a TUHH diploma? What kind of uh, degree, who, who is the awarding, degree awarding institution? This is a very good question, mm -hmm. thank you. So, hence we are independent, we, we have our own professors and we have our own courses, but you're right, we're still cooperating with the TUHH and the final diploma, even though it's an NIT diploma, is handed uh, on from the Technical University of Hamburg. So these are the ones who deliver the final diploma. And on the diploma, you can see both names, the TUHH and the NIT as well. So it's kind of a mix where on the one hand independent, very independent, but on the other hand, there's always a strong connection to the TUHH. And these are the ones, uh, as I said, handing the diploma at the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I think there's no more further questions. So I really I would thank you very much uh, for introducing NIT, NIT's programs to us. I hope that uh, in the future even more students from Taiwan are going to apply and taking this opportunity to study in Germany. Um, thank you very much and looking forward to collaborating again with you. Okay. Thank you.